What's happening, folks? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! We're back! It's a little loud in my headphones. We're back for the promised Chrono Trigger playthrough. And indeed, I've been looking forward to this a great deal. This is one of my all-time favorite games, as well as the sequel, Chrono Cross. Let's get into full screen here. Maybe? There we go. This is, as I said, one of my favorite games ever. It's one of the best stories ever. Same thing with the sequel. I gotta get used to the buttons on this. I mentioned this in my recent Mutant League football game, or the semifinal, which by the time you see this, the final should also be up. But yeah, as a kid, role-playing games, I started using the name Cypher, which is based off of a character in that Mutant League football game, which sounds ridiculous, but that's just, you know, what became my calling card, because no one else used it. I had some other friends that played role-playing games, and they had their own names that they would use for the main character, so... Yeah. Ultimately, one of the things I love about this game is that it unfolds in sections. There's, you know, multiple significant developments. It's clearly... It was well thought out from the beginning. It's just a top, top narrative, so I'm looking forward to it. I won't spoil too much other than to say it begins in a seemingly sleepy village or kingdom called Guardia, and I, a young cipher, am supposed to go to the fair, which you see right there before you, celebrating the 1,000th anniversary of this kingdom's existence. That's right, you have a cat in the game, and you can hang out with it and say what's up to it every time you visit home. Also, his hair not entirely dissimilar to my own. Wow, mom turned sharp pretty quick there. Okay, a couple changes I want to make real quick, which is to say... I'm really going to have to get used to these buttons, or either that or I'm going to have to switch them. For now, I'll just get used to it, and then maybe off-camera I'll switch them and see if there's something better. That was always the one for me back in the day. Okay, so the controller. Let's see what I got here. Okay, I guess I can deal with that. Whoa. Wait a minute. If I go back to the... Oh man, I apologize. I'm not sure what that means. I never mess around with this too much other than to change the color. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> She's like, what the hell were you doing up there? We all know her name. Look at it. Look at that awesome name. No, but for real, this is one of my favorite characters ever. She's like your best friend in the game. Like, platonic. There's never a suggestion of romance. 
but yeah, she's smart, she's an inventor, she's a bit crazy, uh, so it seems to fit Luca, so there you go. There are other characters in the game that I changed their name in other playthroughs, though I think I'll leave them all their normal name for this playthrough, but Luca was one that I never ever changed, I always liked that name. And you can just leave it at that, or if you're like, hold on, Mom, what's up? 200G! I apologize. What's up, kitty? It's Luca. Yeah, she follows you around. Shots fired from Betty, the common villager here, who has a nice little bed and breakfast. Yeah, we'll just kind of check out everything. I mean, I beat this game a few years ago, but I haven't played it since, so yeah, relatively fresh. How dare you. Yeah, you look positively thrilled. Gonna check out your bed for no random reason, and I'm out. Gotcha. Now here's the thing. I normally go and get a little bit of experience for myself, but I want to go meet Marla first, which will all make sense in a couple moments. Wendy, the disenchanted waitress, is a bit bitter. Yeah, not right now, I apologize. When I have more money, I'll pay. saving us time because if you say a no he's like where's your head at dummy or something to that effect Yoda just nodded somewhere Let's go say what's up to Luca. Oh, there's so much to learn here. So much to do eventually. It's hard to tell right here, but she does not have functional legs. She has to, like, be moved around by others due to an unfortunate accident when Luca was little. for it.
I love this track. Poor. A not so significant place in this game, but by the time we get to Chrono Cross, more notable. Ooh, I need a couple hundred more. We need to come back and grab that. Or wait, we need to save up and buy the load sword from a weapon depot at Lean Square and the uh, Millennial Fair, but more on that in a minute. Yeah, that place where I stopped in the middle of the desert, it will become relevant later. We're rocking in here, man. Well, not right now, but I might come back later. Alright, let's hear the sad one, Joe. Alright guys, I uh, put on a nice little sad song for y'all, make you feel depressed on this anniversary fair day. Anyway, I'm out. Oh yeah, we live in Truce Village, which is part of Guardia Kingdom. Is this true, sir? Well, I'm poor, so I'm not below that for now. Nice, dude. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Not sure what to tell you, kid. So shelters, when you get to a save point, which there's a... We'll learn more about them in a few minutes. Uh, but when you use a shelter, it restores all of your hit points and your magic points, which is obviously very helpful. Or they can be used anywhere on the world map, which again, is very helpful. Alright, let's go meet Marla. Shout out to Fiona. We're gonna help you save this. What's up, guys? What's your hurry? Understood.
Yeah, so there's races you can bet on. Ordinary people hanging out. Oh, shots fired. Lots of gossip in this uh, truce village. Alright, so first what we gotta do... This guy's gonna tell us about the point system, I think. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, for now, I guess I'm gonna gear up my guy here. What's up, Belcor? Well, not right now, but soon. Where's the guy who does the points? did, or did the humans of Guardia Kingdom. More on all of this soon. Now, when we go into this next area, this lovely lady here, now if I stand here, she's not going to run into me, although she might get close. Watch, she'll sort of find a way to go around me, right? So it has to be me when I'm walking. Oops. So I bumped into her, right? We'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> I like that little dust off maneuver. But yes, lean spell, it's ringing. Yeah, I'm good. Now, I could go grab the pendant, but let's make sure she's okay first. You good? Just make sure, you good? Let's, uh, yeah, so here it is, and there you go. But of course. So if I say yes, does that mean I mind? Now I'll admit, the first few times I played this, I wasn't overly fond of that name. I mean, it's, first of all, is, is it Marla? Is it Marl? Marley? I'm not sure. Marla is how I'd be inclined to pronounce it. I'm still not certain. But because, again, I'm going to do, like, you know, the classic playthrough, I'm going to leave her name as well. You'll notice my protagonist, Cypher in my case, is a silent protagonist, which was common for a lot of old-school role-playing games. The answers or the comments they make are implicated by the responses or comments of others, but you never see it directly. Alright, let's do that. Alright, girl, so we got a lot to do here. First, we're gonna find out that there's a girl around here who seems to have lost her cat. Which, you know, priorities first. Someone who's lost their cat, we gotta figure out what's going on here. What do you know? There's a cat right here. Come on, kitty. Out of the way, chum. More on him in a minute. You are most welcome. Well, I guess we'll give this a go. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Oh, shots fired. This is the point guy. Well, you just told me I don't have any, so I thank you for your pointless question. Uh, but so see this little, little doohickey over here? We don't want to touch it, because see, this is... That's that guy's lunch, and we definitely don't want to steal it from him. All these things may be relevant later. Oh, damn, what's up, dude? Yeah, so Luca invented this thing. You know it's a tune. I just gotta let that play two times through, thank you. Alright, here we go. At first, we're not really gonna be doing any attacks. And he has an automatic counterattack, so we do lose points, but I have to show you this guy. But because of that automatic counterattack, and because of the damage it does, he is a guy that you either have to, if you want to keep fighting him, because it's just a practice robot, you can keep fighting him again and again, but you end up losing a lot of hit points. You either got to bring tonics, or you got to keep going to heal yourself. Which admittedly, we can do for free, because at your own house, you can sleep in your bed. Which I gotta point out, now that Marla is with us, if we go to sleep in Cypher's bed, it sort of cuts away to the downstairs, because it's like, well, we can't show them getting out of bed at the same time, can we? But again, I'm not gonna go to inns because I don't want to spend money, so... Thank you for my 15 points. We'll be back to fight you some more and get more points, because there's something we want to do very early on, so we don't have to bother with it later. Excuse me, sir. Kitty! So, Mom, I made a friend. Luca the cat is a fan. Think about that comment as events go on. Uh, so mom, if it's cool, we're gonna go take a nap. You know, don't worry. I'll be a total gentleman, but yeah, that's the reality. happened upstairs stays upstairs Kitty. okay so we can go fight Gato some more but in the meantime we're gonna spend some time in the forest Let's fight some people here because these people we can fight and get experience from without constantly having to heal But don't worry, Marla, it, I won't make you fight uh, killer mushrooms all day. There, there's some more fun we'll have. On this, our first date. things allow us to increase permanent power levels of somebody because he's more of an attacking character it's all about cypher
In this game, you can spread all the power stuff around, or you can make, like, a really powerful main character. And admittedly, there is a part of the game where Cypher is unavailable, but ultimately, yeah, I lean heavily on Cypher, and I use the other people, like, more for support in a lot of the battles. As you'll come to see, one of the main things about this game is particular combos that you can do between certain combinations of two people and three people. There's like double and triple tech, so yeah. It goes to Cypher, and you notice that increases his attack right away. Another track I absolutely love. There are save states in this emulator, but I'm just going to play it straight. And I'll just use the normal save feature. I love that piano bit. And, you know, I don't feel bad for going and getting some experience in the forest because, you know, Marla clearly came to the fair ready to raise some ruckus. She had a crossbow in her outfit. Oh yeah. Yeah, Marla is primarily a healing character in Battle Context, though she does learn some strong attack magic as well, so... Bottom line, she's awesome. Look at this little guy. When it flashes like that, it's a critical attack. They happen, I don't know what the percentage is, but every so often, probably like, I don't know, 10-15% of the time, though there are certain items that you can equip along the way, or certain weapons that make such criticals much more likely. Understood, although... We might... I would say it's more like a small clearing, not an open field, but okay. So we know now, there are these boxes with particular emblems that seem to be scattered about in various places, including in some homes, maybe held as keepsakes. But, so this is Guardia Castle, right? Let's see what happens if we try to go there. Marla is not interested in going to the castle. Alright, understood. I just realized one of the things that I like to do very early on, the thing that I said it was good to do and save ourselves time later, it does require a very clear understanding of the buttons. 
levels, it's like a time thing and you have to, it's like a Simon Says competition, you have to repeat what you see, and by the end it's going very fast. I just gotta make, oh that, oh LR, okay that is, that's B, that's A, okay. No, I think I can do it. Y, X, yeah. Alright. I think I got it. B, A, L, R, Y, X. It helps that that's on the screen. Handing out the experience, people. Take a nap at the pad real quick. Really do love this track. The emotional weight of the game is evident in subtle ways very early. Once we go through the game, all these moments and even musical choices will become clearer and clearer as to the, the nature. manner, did we? So yeah, basically, it's a tutorial. Everything here is a tutorial, so I'm not going to talk to too many people, because it just will take a lot of time, and I'll, I'll explain everything as we go anyway, but... Thanks for the cash, guys. I'm out. I'll tell you what, Marla. Let's take a boat ride down to Poor, eh? Keep that name in mind.
I agree. Praise the Lord. Well, not yet, but we'll go back. No, I, I, I understand, but we'll be back. Basically, I like to advance my characters a little bit past where they're supposed to be at the start of the game, and then it's like, throughout the rest of the game, you're always a little bit ahead of the curve, so. Also, I'd like to show Marla the view. Pretty nice, eh? She's like, nope, I'm not gonna look. I'm just looking at you, man. But, it, like, look, it's the sun coming through the clouds, and no? Okay. I'll race you, old man. Hmm. Yeah, let's go a little more forest action. Then we'll go back, fight Gato a little bit. And get the points necessary to do that thing that I want to do. I haven't saved the game yet. Hold on. After I do this, I'm just going to get the first save in just so I don't forget. I'm so excited to play this. This is such an awesome game. in the real world there aren't slightly anthropomorphic and extremely aggressive mushrooms that jump on you. You know, Cypher's quick, but Marla, she's right there. Should start a truce running team. and Chaos would be a great band name. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 
rifle butt to the head. Or crossbow butt. Crossbow butt, unfortunately, would not be a good band name. forget if it respawns the enemies if I go over here. I think it does, right? I suppose I should mention it for those who don't know the game. All these characters, all the main characters in this game, and I think, you know, most of the NPCs as well, were designed by Akira Toriyama of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z fame. So yeah, uh, there was a very notable creative force at work in terms of character design on this game. Yasunori Mitsuda's compositions, a couple of which I've reacted to recently, uh, you are hearing right now. Which, you know, the animation for it is not dissimilar from her wiping off her bum after falling. for Cypher's critical attack. Leaping double slash, like Shinobi style. Naps before dinner, I guess. Yeah, we need to go there eventually. I suppose let's go fight Gato some more, get some more points. Thank <laughs> you. 
Interesting, normally by this time they're like, oh, Sarah's invention is ready to be seen, but right now there's still people blocking it. Let's talk to Melkor, and I'm going to firmly tell him when he asks, as you will see. See, what we really want is that. We definitely want the load sword. Can't get it yet, but we want to get it. New. She said it meant a lot to her. We're not talking about that. Whoops. So we got what, 30 points now? We need 80. I forgot to save, didn't I? Yeah. But I suppose you can understand why Luca has a reputation for building insane inventions. I do love his microphone, though. back in. I'd like to point out that Gato uses the same technology as Data, and I'm not talking Star Trek. See, I'm glad I got Marla before getting experience. Now we're synced up in our levels.
fighting Gato, like once we get the the thing for 80 points, which I'll be vague about for now, we can keep fighting Gato for trading points for money. It's worthwhile to keep fighting him because you get, I think it's 50 gold for every 15 points, is that what it was? But fighting the people in the forest, you get more tech points, meaning uh, Cypher and Marley will learn single and double techs more quickly, so it's a balance, I guess. Do we have? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's 10 for 50. Okay, so let me save the game very quickly. House of Horrors place. Where the hell is it again? Oh, right. Okay, so just a review. B A B A Y X L R Y X B A. All right, I'm gonna try. If I don't get it right, though, I'm gonna have to load the game because I don't wanna have to get 80 points again. Oh wait, I'm wrong. Well, I gotta, oh man. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Well, it's a good thing that's not the one we're supposed to do. Sorry, Marla, that I burned you to death, but, uh, don't worry. How do I... Can I load the game? That's only save, right? I can do a reset and I can load, but I'm so annoyed I picked the wrong game. Now, can I load from this screen? No, I can't, can I? Alright, well, apologies. Okay, so apparently it's the 40-point game, which means I guess I have two shots at it. Okay, again, B A P Y X. Oh, so Y and A. So Y and A are the only two I need to know. All right. L R Y and A. Okay. Was it laugh? Was the why?
I'm such an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and laugh at me. That one's on me. I did it! Excellent. I don't mind that I wasted the extra 40. It feels fair. So now, let's get a save. I felt pressure as it gets faster at the end there. Okay. Excellent. Now, let's go back to the forest for a little bit, I guess. Get some more tech points, as well as some gold. Marla's suspended jump every time we win a battle. It's got some serious hovering skills, not unlike Princess in the Mario games. Or at least Mario 2, as we called it in the States, where one of her main abilities is to float. I didn't even realize we were in the Aura World. That obviously heals everybody in the group, and though we only have two now, you can have three people in your group at any given time, so... It would heal all three people if we had a third. The amount of mushroom slaughter going on is remarkable. And yes, I played bass for Mushroom Slaughter before you ask.
and I didn't mention it yet, but ethers restore magic points out in the field. So if you're not at a place where you can use a shelter and thus restore everything instantly, you can use tonics to restore your health and ethers to get your MP back. But for this kind of experience gathering, I try to avoid using items because it's sort of counterproductive. When they're in chaos, they can actually attack your own teammates, which is not good. In this case, he's just being weak and missing, but... How dare you, you brute. Since these guys give you like 50 gold per, just about, I think it's just better to fight them rather than Gato because Gato has the whole intro which takes a little longer and you don't get as many tech points, you only get one tech point, so I think we'll just stick to the forest until I have enough for the load sword, at which point we will advance the game and we'll really get underway. But as I said, I like to boost up a little bit first. Oh, and I gotta get, what is it, the mail for my guy male being an armor type. <laughs> you know, for those of you who didn't know that. What right in the red eyeball? Killed the Beatles, man. And they told us the clone would be at Cypher's house, right? I like that. I like that pose. Uh, this time, let's close the blinds when we go in here. Always gotta say hi to Luca the cat. Which I guess I named after my best friend, who we haven't seen yet, but we will soon. So where am I at gold-wise? The only thing unfortunate about that is I have to go... We're gonna save 10G by not taking the ferry, but... Marla's like, hold on, man. Heal restores your status, so like if you've been confused and you another character uses heal on that person, they will no longer be confused. Alright, we gotta make about 3,000 more. I'm gonna try to go into overdrive here. Obviously it's gonna take some... some grinding and... Guardia Forest.
slash attack, although one of my more simple special techs will be important against certain enemies as the game goes along. become the mushroom's bane of Guardia. I have quite a few tonics, don't I? It's another reason to do the forest instead of Gato. Speaking of Gato, Luca's looking at me like, you talking about me? I still dispute that description.
Also, I wonder if the no trespassing sign for Guardia Castle applies to the psychotic mushrooms. Which would also be a good band name now that I think about it. Chaos to get lost. See where we're at at this point. Not bad, not bad. I apologize. I do appreciate the patience. Like, we'll get the narrative going, but this is just always how I played the game. You work hard at the beginning, and it pays off as you go through the more significant and challenging sections of the game. What a jerk I am. Sorry. There we go. Also, we can sell some of the tonics, I suppose.
I have to admit, Cypher's a bit of a weirdo with his post-victory pose. Where are we at? Maybe 2,000? Just about, yep. Whoops. Sorry, Luca's getting up to no good here. I think she might need to be fed. get him in one, so I guess we don't need to skip this battle anymore. do the whole run here. I'm gonna do everything that I originally intended, but I am gonna need a minute to feed Luca, maybe get a quick snack for myself, and since in the video game playthroughs I record the sound separately from the video, uh, I don't want to pause the video, so yeah, you're gonna have to bear with me in a moment. It should just be for a minute or so. Just long enough to get Luca her breakfast and me a little endurance food fuel.
Okay, what I'm gonna do is buy a quick ticket to Poor, and while we're on the way, I'm gonna go feed Luca and get myself a snack, so I should be right back. Okay. Apologies.
Luca is meowing at me relentlessly right now. I forgot which way I was going.
we close to 3,000 yet? Just about. Almost there. Almost there, folks. I appreciate those taking the full journey who are still watching. I wouldn't be offended if uh, people had done otherwise, but shout out to the true warriors. Oh, what am I doing? I was supposed to go... Supposed to go take a nap, man. Oh, Luca's trouble. She's coming. She's up here. actually be the coolest pose, fair to say. Looks like skateboarding cipher. I noticed on that clock on the wall it's always three o'clock.
I do apologize, Luca is uh, underfoot. And I don't mean the character in the game. I think we can do one more trip through the forest, and then any difference between what we have in 4,000 can be made up by selling a few tonics, which shouldn't be a big deal. These bugs are at the beck and call of a bell carrying bird. double just one time through and that should be good
not what I wanted. Should be just about enough. Look at that, it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna do two more mushroom fights and that's it. Two more Hitake fights. folks who met each other uh, earlier today. We've taken a lot of naps together. Okay, am I at? Yes, I'm already there. Don't need to sell anything. Okay, so here we go. We're going to advance the game now. I'm very excited. we can see when we take that ferry ride. I guess we didn't bet on him once, did we? And what do I have? Six gold? Or six... Six points, I mean? I'd just like to point out the cat chose to finish in last. In fact, I'm betting on him this time. Let's go, Cadillac. You can actually try to, yeah, you can try to slow down, no, Cadillac doesn't have it.
bastard. Oh, Cadillac. I'm so embarrassed at you. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. What do you think about that, Marla? Do you have any opinion about a wild tomboy daughter of the Guardia King? <laughs> wow! Pretty bitter, huh? Alright. You know, I took a lot of time to get that load sword. You tell me they're still not ready? The hell? You are so welcome. Oh damn, I forgot about this place. Oh yeah, let's go dance, Marla. Come on. How the hell do I get out of it? Oh my god, I don't know how to get out of it. Oh, this is trouble. Oh, thank god. You're like three years old. What the hell are you talking about? Mickey Mouse is dangerously close to suing for that balloon. Bro, you need to hurry up and open the exhibit. Get a shelter or two, actually. Actually, I don't want to sell that many uh, tonics, so never mind. We'll just wait. We have one. Alright, before we embark on the next step of the game. Let's go meet Luca. Okay, so I'm not going to move at all because if you move during this part, it seems like you're impatient and I'm not trying to be impatient. Got your candy? All right, let's go. Oh, there she is. And now Star Trek is considering a lawsuit. Oh wow, you guys are mean.
Alright, so your pets are alright then? Oh, wow. Oh, the music's that. That's a bit ominous. So, Taban, Luca. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna grab this shit and go after her. And Luca will follow us after when she figures out what's going on. Thank you, Luca. Kicked by a mini version of the Blue Man group.
Yeah, unfortunately for my fellow Nintendo Entertainment System fans, we're not going to use the Power Glove, because the Mandana makes me slightly faster. And in this game, being slightly faster in that, you know, time-based combat form, it makes all the difference, so. And in fact, there's a couple other items that you can get which raise your speed even more than the Bandana, so until I get those, that will remain. What's up, guys? We're about to hear one of the greatest tracks, one of my favorite video game tracks since I was a kid. Shout out to Yasunori Mitsuda. Looks sort of like a familiar terrain, right? But the village looks different. Lots of fog out. It says question mark on the map. We're not sure when or where we are. But we are in truce, so where is Kronos' house? Where is everything else? Why does it look like a simpler time? Sure? Oh, wow. Man, this guy is saucy. Now remember, Lean's Bell, we heard about at the Millennial Fair. Oh, my man, it's Toma, my man. Okay, but we heard when she disappeared, it was after she went to that cathedral. And now we've heard Magus. Oh, okay, so we can't go see poor. Well, that's, uh, I feel like that's enough for the first playthrough. We're gonna get a rest. We're gonna wake up wherever we are. Which, you know, I don't think we were told yet what year it is, but obviously it's a different year. And perhaps an earlier year. Than what for Cypher is the present. Well, we're told it's the Middle Ages. We don't know quantitatively what year yet, but we'll find out soon. Either way, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for checking out the first of what will be many Chrono Trigger videos, and we will go through this awesome, amazing game. I am going to try to finish Star Control 2 first, though. I still have a video that's already shot for the next Star Control 2, and there shouldn't be too many more after that one. Maybe like three or four more, so definitely getting closer to beating it. Once I do that, I'll begin going through Chrono Trigger here in earnest. Try to do at least like one video a week, so... Very much looking forward to it. Hopefully you're here for it. Once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I will see you all soon. Peace.